In this video, we're going to look at hosting PowerShell Universal with IIS. And in this video, this is really kind of a, a quick start. We're not going to get into advanced configurations, but we're going from uh, zero to actually running PowerShell Universal here with IIS with very basic settings. To get started, I actually have to prep my IIS host, the server that's going to be running IIS. So there's a couple important steps. I have to obviously have IIS installed with programs and features. And then also I need to ensure that under my web server components in the application development section, I've gone ahead and also installed the WebSocket protocol. So once we have IIS, the actual web server role and then the feature for WebSocket, we're good to go from an IIS perspective. So just know after you've installed that, it's suggested you do a restart before you continue. So now that we actually have our IIS host prepped, we do need to go ahead and download the uh, PowerShell Universal zip file. So we have a basically a installer version and a zip file. They're exactly the same. There's no differences in features. This one is just purpose built for IIS and other third party web services. Now I've actually gone ahead and already extracted the zip file here. And for the sake of example, I'm actually going to leave this in my downloads folder. This isn't something that you should do, but again, as a quick start, it works just fine. So now that we've prepped our host, we've downloaded the actual application and we've put it somewhere. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the IIS manager. And at this point we need to create an app pool and we need to create our website for the application. So to start off with, we're going to go ahead and create the app pool. And I'm just going to give this kind of a generic name. There are a number of key configurations in IS that we can't miss. So we have to make the following changes or else PowerShell universal will not be able to run. First off, when we're creating the application pool, we need to set the .NET CLR version to no managed code. And then after we've created the app pool in the advanced settings, we have a number of settings we also have to change as well. The enable 32 bit applications has to be set to false. Under the process model settings, load user profile has to be true. And we also need to specify an identity for our application pool to use. Now, this is going to actually be the account, the credentials that our dashboards will run as, and also that the scripts, the jobs that we execute from universal automation will run as by default. This account also has to have access to the application directory that we extracted earlier. And it also has to have access to the database location that by default is C program data, universal automation. So there's a couple requirements there. I have a domain account I'm going to use here with the appropriate rights. So now that I have those three settings in place, I can say, okay. And this completes our application pool configuration. Now, the next step is to actually set up the IAS website, but we have a bit of a quick start here that can help you get started. In the universal folder that we extracted earlier, when you download the zip version, we include a web.config file, and this is specifically built for IIS. However, there's one setting that does require you to change before you can use it with IIS. Now, under this ASP.NET Core process path setting, there's actually going to be an arguments field, and we actually do need to specify the location, the exact path of this DLL. Now, in my case, I already went ahead and changed this value, but this is likely going to be program files or something like that. So just make sure that before you load this folder into IIS, you go ahead and update this arguments field. So now that you've gone ahead and you have the exact path in the arguments value to this universal server DLL, uh, we can go ahead and jump back into the IIS manager. And then we're going to add a website to our sites. And I'm going to give this a generic name and probably the most important step here. The easiest thing to miss is the fact that I do have to click select on the application pool and choose the pool that I actually created earlier. 
by default, when you create a new website, it will try and create a new site. And like we saw, it won't have those critical settings that we put in earlier. So once we're sure we've selected the correct application pool, I can then specify the content directory physical path. And this is actually just going to be that folder that we extracted earlier. So now that I have my app pool and my physical path specified, I'm going to go ahead and click test settings just, just to make sure that, you know, it can find the path and everything's working okay there. And so far this all looks good. Um, and now finally we get to our binding settings and, you know, in my case, I'm just doing a quick test, a little evaluation here. So I'm going to leave everything by default. Once I'm sure everything's working, I'll come back into here and make sure it's configured exactly the way I want. But for now, for the sake of example, this works perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And the website by default will start automatically. I can see here the status is started. And now I'm actually going to just click the Browse Website button down here to go ahead and launch the application. And that should load up PowerShell Universal right away. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the default credential, admin credential here. And now that this is loaded, I can go ahead and start playing around with the scripts uh, using dashboards. I can go ahead and go into the settings control to finish configuring my PowerShell Universal server. Uh, by default, this will install with a trial license, as we can see here. Uh, but at this point, you know, we'd start moving on to the more advanced configuration, but this is just to show you, you can get up and running with IIS quite quickly for PowerShell Universal.